Welcome everybody. This is the fourth video on how to do the problems for electrical circuits Simitech found in the class ELT 106. Let us go into the skill test now. As I've explained before, this is your work order. Expenditures will be listed at the end of the circuit when you have finished repairing it and when it works. Status of repairs is when somebody else has worked on the circuit and is not able to fix it. And problem description is what the person who reported the problem says is happening. So our assignment is to repair the lighting circuit safely, accurately, and efficiently. So let us begin. This is the standard circuit for the skill test of electrical circuits in ELT 106. So let us test to see if the lights turn on. No. No. And no. Obviously the lights did not turn on. And if we go to reference, schematic diagram, pull this over. Turning on any of the push buttons would activate relay 1, closing this and sealing it in, and turning on the lights. As this has not happened, something else is wrong with the circuit. So let us observe to see if there's any obvious signs of the fault. It notices nothing abnormal, so we cannot go off of that. So we will have to pull our meter out and go to voltage. This, we will use this to test if there is power flowing through the circuit. So put your black lead on neutral and your red lead on the fuse at point one. We have power flowing from terminal block one to the big part, first part of the fuse. So now let us click over here. And we have power flowing through the fuse. This tells us that the fuse is fine and something else is wrong with the circuit. Now obviously multiple push buttons failing at the same time is not likely. In fact, very unlikely. So the next problem could be that a push button is shorted open, one of the stop push buttons, PB5, PB4, and PB6. The relay could be broken, or relay 1 may not be getting power, or there could be a wire not working somewhere. So let us go to the beginning of push button 6. and push PB1, we get power, push button 2, we get power, and push button 3, we get power. So now let us go to here, push button 4, the end right here. So if we have turned on power and we receive a voltage reading here, that means it's good. And obviously, since we are not receiving power here, there it means there's something wrong in between. So let us go to PB5, test it. No power, so let us go now to PB44. This is in between the two points we have just checked. If we get power here, it means that it's this switch that's wrong, that's broke, shorted open. But if we don't get power here, it means this wire is open. Let us test it. No power. So we know what is wrong. So remove the lead by turning your meter off. Open your circuit breaker. Turn off the lighting circuit. Lock out and verify dead. Take your screwdriver and disconnect at one side of the wire in between PB4 and PB5. Change your meter to ohms. Put one lead on the disconnected side of the wire. 
and the other lead on the other side of the wire. Open line. When you measure across a wire that is not connected to ground, such as we are right now, disconnected, you should read the resistance of the wire, which will be 0.0. .0. This is a very small reading, but there is resistance. Open line indicates, however, that there is no resistance measured in between the line between the leads, and so it is an open wire. So remove your leads, take out your wrench, select the wire, and replace. While removing the wire, you found a loose terminal. Do you wish to replace the wire? or tighten the loose terminal. Obviously the wire is actually loose instead of being bad. Because of this, we'll tighten it. We don't want to spend money to replace a wire that's good. Take your screwdriver, reconnect. Remove the lock on the breaker panel. Turn on the lighting circuit and test the circuit. That PB1 works, PB2 works, and PB3 works along with the three stop buttons. By power of observation, we realized that we were getting power up to here, but we got no power at this end. Because of that, we knew the problem was someplace in between here and here. By using resistance, we were able to test whether we got are reading anywhere in here. By using voltage we were able to determine that there was no power getting to this one but there was to this. We found out that the wire was loose and have tightened it and it now works. I hope this video is beneficial to you and I hope that you get through the class well and use the skills you learn in Simitech to apply to the rest of everything you do. Thank you.